Now let's do a quick example where we use the elementary matrices to do row reduction of our, our good friend 2, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8. So we've seen how to do this using elementary equation operations and elementary row operations. So now let's Let's see what happens when we use elementary matrices, right? So the first thing is that we're going to multiply we're going to multiply on the left hand side by first we want to clear out that uh, we want to turn the pivot into one so we multiply by one half zero 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 one zero 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 one so we multiply and we're going to get 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8. So that's, that's the first thing, and this guy is our E1 of 1 half. E1 of 1 half. So now the next thing is we want to clear out these two rows, right? So in order to do that, we're going to multiply it first by... 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 4. So this will subtract 4 of row 1 from row, from row 2. And this is E, 1, 2 of negative 4. That's what this matrix is. And we multiply that, what do we get? 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 6, 6, 7, 8. Then we've got E13 of negative 6 is this matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 6, 0, 1. And we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2. So that's the very first part. And now uh, we need to interchange the rows, row 2 and 3. So we, we're going to multiply by E2, 3, which is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. By doing that we obtain 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So you, oh, sorry, 1, 2. So you can work this all out by, by multiplying. Right, so, but these are the matrices that you multiply by. And then you've got, and then we want to, then we have to clear out these guys. Right, so to clear those out, we multiply by, so I'm going to, I'm going to just kind of speed this up here, because you basically get the idea that we're, we're multiplying by these matrices. So we're going to subtract 2 of row 3 from row 2, so E3, 1, uh, minus 2. So that'll be the next thing that we multiply by. And we'll get uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then we multiply by E of 3, 1. So we subtract 1 of row 3 to get rid of that thing. And then we're going, so we'll get whatever that matrix is. We'll get 0 there. And then finally, E will take away 1 of row 2 from row 1 and we obtain the final reduced row echelon form of our friend. Right, so so let's suppose our original matrix let's set this equal to A. Right? Well then this matrix, the reduced row echelon form actually looks like this. We've got E, 2, 1, negative 1, E, 3, 1, negative 1, E, 3, 2 of negative 2, E, 2, 3, the permutation, remember, E of, what was it, 1, 3, negative 6, E of 
1, 2, negative 4, e, 1, 1 half, this entire thing times a is equal to this reduced row echelon form. So really all I've done when I do reduced row echelon form or when I apply gauss jordan elimination is essentially I multiply it by this long list of matrices, right? And I can set this guy equal to just some matrix E. So then there's this matrix E A, there's this matrix E such that when I apply it to A, I get the reduced row echelon form of A. Not only that is I can is that I can find another E such that when I hit this with that I get E back. Well, I get A back rather, right? Because this process is reversible. They're all elementary operations. That's really nice. And this kind of is encapsulated by the following theorem, which we won't prove, but we've essentially shown if you look at basically what we've done here. So the theorem is that for any M by N matrix A, there are elementary operations, or elementary matrices, E1 up to EK, such that Let me go down here. Ignore this. Such that EK times EK minus 1 matrix multiplier, of course, times dot 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 E1A is equal to the reduced row echelon form of A.